Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present to you our submission to MIDL 2020, our algorithm which we abbreviate as DRMIME. So in a general registration framework, we have the moving image to which we apply a geometric transform parameterized by parameters theta, and then we compare it to the fixed image using some sort of a cost function. And based on that, we update our parameters theta. So the cost function could be something as simple as mean square error. But the problem here is that in case of multimodal images, mean square error won't work because when two multimodal images completely overlap, the pixel intensity difference between these two might not be at its minimum. So we use something like mutual information. But the problem with mutual information in this form is the that we use we use histograms to compute it and histograms are not differentiable. So we can no longer perform gradient descent. So we use a differentiable form of mutual information called MINE, which is basically this idea that you can train a neural network to estimate the mutual information between two n-dimensional variables in an unsupervised manner. In this case, the variables being images. So the benefit to doing that is a neural network is differentiable and you could just plug it in as a plug it in as a cost function. So next is this idea of matrix exponentials. So every geometric transformation matrix can actually be expressed as a matrix exponential of a linear combination of basis matrices. For example, if you wanted to do an affine transform, you had you would have these six basis matrices which remain the same and you would have a scalar associated with each of these which are actually your transformation parameters. So you apply the trans, uh, matrix exponential expression to all your parameters and obtain the final transformation matrix. So the benefit to doing that is demonstrated by this example. For example, you want if you wanted to do a rotation, you would optimize for all four of these parameters. But using matrix exponential, you would just have this theta which actually this is one parameter which is related to all four of these. And now you can optimize it in a much smoother and much more efficient way. So with matrix exponentials, you have this intuition that all geometric transformation parameters are linked to each other in a more expressive way, which can be better expressed using matrix exponentials and hence optimization is smoother. So now we replace this part of our framework with the matrix exponential framework. So more problems with registration are that optimization is often non-convex and given the large resolution of these images, optimization is very slow. So we use this idea of Gaussian pyramids where we work with a much uh, blurred out smaller resolution of the image where we can just see the global structures. So we randomly initialize it at this level and optimize for it and use the parameters obtained here to initialize the next level of optimization, which is a larger and clearer version of the image. So we continue doing this and move down our pyramid down to the original level where we obtain the final parameters V. So we can take this a step further and perform like a simultaneous optimization for all levels to make our algorithm more robust. So we train our mind network with uh, multiple levels of the fixed image and the moving image pyramid at the same time. And also we combine the losses from multiple levels and average them to obtain our final loss. So this uh, leads to our final framework, which actually has more robust and accurate results. We evaluated our algorithm on a couple of publicly available data sets, which also had the ground truth available. And compared to SITK, Simple Elastics and AirLab, our algorithm did quite well. This is a visual representation of a sample pair from the FIRE data set. And you can notice the subtle differences between all of these registration results. And thank you for attending my presentation.